morning. It's uh, Monday, November 30th, 2020. It's uh, 2.24 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym right now. My, uh, my wife, she has these headaches. She's always had them. Um, can't really tell when or where or what the reason is for them. My opinion, I'm not a doctor, is they say headaches are the equivalent of, of what it feels like to be dehydrated. So I would say that it's a... Nevertheless, whether it's dehydration or... just something that happens at the end of the day you never want to see the person that you love in any type of pain suffering and I think in the initial stages of our relationship I remember she would get those headaches and a part of me really just kind of thought it was um, fixable and drink some water do some stretches da, 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 do this do that and then the more and more we've grown together when I see her and she gets these headaches she doesn't get them in, you know that much as you know, when we when we um, there was a, a period of time where they were real frequent and they were real bad. I mean, she would get sick. They were those kind of headaches. I, I think a lot of people probably get those. And I, I could only imagine. But I would think that it was fixable. You know, if you just did this or just did that, or if you were preventative, you know, you could keep it at bay. And now, when I see her going through it, it almost feels like it's God's way of saying, appreciate what you got. Because God forbid... It was something worse than just a headache. Thank God it's not chemotherapy. It's not cancer. Thank God the headache will go away. Thank God it's not something serious that you can't fix. So sometimes what's going on may appear to be something that needs to be fixed, but I have a feeling that most of the time it's just an awareness opportunity to say, cherish what you got while it's here, because you never know when it could be gone. And so I just got to, I was, I went in the room, you know, my, 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 my routine is to walk room to room and give everybody a kiss and leave. And I stopped and I seen her and I put my hand on her face and just kind of looked at her and just said a quick prayer. And really just. I'm, I'm amazed. I really am amazed. <laughs> um, at the type of woman God put me with. For the simple fact, her heart is very good. Not to say mine isn't, but her heart is very good. And mine is very broken. Like life, just life in general has broken. Or has fractured it, not broken it, fractured it. And when you have a fractured heart, you 
operate from a different position. You operate from a position of protecting it. You operate from a position of not wanting it to uh, be affected or hurt. And she has her story. She's been through some things. But her heart isn't affected by it. You would never be able to tell by looking at her or talking to her that something in her life traumatic may have taken place. And so for God to put somebody like that in my life is absolutely amazing. But even more so, for me to see that same person going through pain it's very humbling because at the end of the day you know that you've been given something good and God forbid that it ever had to leave so cherish what you have take the moments where it's sadness and relive them every single day so that it can give you the power and the strength to live in a, 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 a gratitude type of mentality.